Okay, let me see if I can talk about my movie idea again. I'm trying to remember it while I'm driving. So everybody is a NPC until they till you collapse the wave function and you come come face to face with them, right? Whether you make a phone call or walk up to somebody, and if you think about it, when you address somebody, AD dress, you're putting a a suit. You put an outfit on them. AD is toward dress, a dress, toward dress, add a dress, add a, add an outfit, dress them up. You know, what are you going to dress in today? What's your, you know, when you go to a job, they give you a uniform to dress up like everybody else, you know, the uniform. So when you address somebody, you're you're bringing you're collapsing the wave function, and you're uh, almost in agreement. How can two walk together except they be in agreement? So when you walk with somebody, figuratively, like when you're talking to them or whatever, when you walk with somebody, you have to be in some kind of an agreement. If you ha don't have an agreement, you can't walk with them. <clears throat> so, have you ever noticed people that don't want to communicate at all? They, they really, a lot of times they have nothing to say because there's nothing in there, you know? You might say, hey, how you doing? They'll say, hey, how you doing? But there's no, there's no desire to have a communication back and forth you know some people you talk to they're ready to talk you know they'll talk your ears off some people will talk your ears off you know so it's all about collapsing the wave function the way you the way you were to the way you're to beat the uh the vanguards and the black rocks and all that is collapse the wave function When you connect with anything, you're collapsing the wave function. When you gaze upon anything, you're collapsing the wave function. You saw it in in all their experiments. When you gaze upon a electron or proton or whatever they were gazing upon, you you collapse the wave function and you create a pattern. But if you're not looking at it, it creates a wave. And so it's all the sine wave. And so no matter what it is in life, it's all outward. The outward is like an NPC reality. It's like a video game. And you might say, well, if I go to the grocery store and put my food in the refrigerator, it's still there even when I don't look at it, right? Because you collapsed the wave function and you spent some money you exchange some money, you went into agreement with that food that you're going to eat it later. If you don't eat it, it goes bad, it spoils. So you went into an agreement. A lot of stuff you have to maintain oil change, change your tires, all, kind, all kinds of stuff. You gotta maintain, right? Maintenance. Maintain. Attain. The hard part is building it. The, the easy part is maintaining it. But if you don't maintain it, it, it starts to fall apart, you know. And so you know that's true in a marriage or anything. If you don't maintain the communication, it's going to fall apart. It's true in a business. If you don't maintain it, it's going to fall into disarray. Uh, school, education, anything. If you What you focus on and you maintain, 
stays so it stays in the hologram. But notice, a lot of stuff can disappear out of the hologram, out of your holographic experience. <clears throat> a lot of stuff can vi disappear out of your video game experience, you know. But there's certain truths that are outside of 3D that are steady state, and I think that's what you got to focus on. And when I say I think, I'm I'm 100% sure that's what you got to focus on: the types and the shadows and the anti-types. You got to focus on the archetypes. You know that God created this place and started started it like a spinning top. You know, God started it, initiated it. He says, "Be fruitful and multiply, maintain." Occupy till I return. Occupy. Occupation. Occupy. Maintain. Maintenance. He's given you a, a program, an operating system, based on the lamb slain before the foundation world, so you know it's all about Sacrifice and redemption, sacrifice, redemption, sacrifice, redemption, sine wave, the sin wave. You know it's going to, the cycles and the seasons just keep repeating. And because of what Noah did when he got off the, the boat, he did a sweet smelling offering. And God said, that I won't curse the land anymore. And he'll just have continual cycles. Now the devil is trying to destroy the earth. Jesus comes back to destroy those that would destroy the earth. He's trying to destroy it. And the Democrats and the left, they're all trying to destroy the earth, the humans, you know, from abortion. The Democrats are trying to destroy everything. Instead of building everything up, they're trying to destroy the economy, everything. They believed a lie, a communist socialistic lie because they don't believe in sacrifice and redemption, sacrifice and redemption, sacrifice and redemption. They believe the lie. And so communism always goes back to dictatorships and it always goes, and socialism goes back to dictatorships and it goes back to the people crying out, you know, crying out to their maker. All you have to do is think about this place and look in front of you everything in front of you the seed comes off the tree and it dies goes in the ground and gives new life sacrifice death resurrection death resurrection death resurrection so the left doesn't believe in sacrifice they want you to sacrifice for them if you've ever been around one of them the leftists they always want you to do their they're lazy they always want you to do it for them they're lazy they're pure they're pure evil and they're going to flip reality and blame you of the things they're doing. The very thing that they're doing, they're going to blame it to you. And you don't even do it. And they're going to gaslight reality to get people to think that you did what they did. And you didn't. I mean, that's how evil it is. Because they can't... If they would just run to the cross and admit sin and will it realize they got to sacrifice whether it's for their home, their spouse, their kids, their job, their career, they don't want to sacrifice. But if they can get a bunch of flying monkeys sacrificing for them because they think they're queen bee, they don't have to do nothing. But it won't last. It won't last. It's. Let me put it this way. You reap what you sow. You might get somebody to be your buffer buffer for a season but it won't last that buffer is gonna go away or die off or something whether it's age or health you know if somebody's always got a bunch of flying monkeys whether it's the pharaoh whether it's the king whether it's the jezebel what happened to jezebel she was thrown out what happened to the evil kings look at look at uh look what happened to solomon he went into idolatry He went into a pleasure mindset, you know. 
he had a thousand concubines. He went into just everything's pleasure, you know, let's have fun. Isn't that what they're doing to you today with the news and the media and the music and all? It's all about fun. Well, when a job, when your when your work becomes your fun, even though it's hard and you have to sacrifice. When you learn to that sacrifice is more fun than having fun, you get out there and sweat, break a sweat. That's more fun than having fun. Whatever you define fun as, I don't even know what you define it as because everybody I talk to who's ignorant, that's not even fun talking to them. Not fun being around them. Not fun going to the bar. It's not fun drinking. It's not fun smoking some kind of substance. Wait, is that really fun? You're just, what you're doing is an escape. Everybody's idea of fun you, you look and you think, is that really? Look at all the Hollywood people. Do you really think it's fun being around fake people? Do you think they really have fun? All their friends are just fake. They're all flying monkeys just telling you what you want to hear. That's not fun. Anyway, I'll get off my topic. Duh. When you When you start to see that this is a simulated training program. Everything is a copy. It's a repeat simulation. You could get depressed, but you could also learn to plant seeds. Is it labor to plant seed? Is it, does it cost you something to plant some seed? Yeah, but you have a, a tenfold, a hundredfold return, you know. And so that might be education, that might be health, that might be lifting weights, that might be investing, that might be whatever. You're going to have a return eventually. Think about it. If you will, let's say people, you know, a lot of people, they just have their two week vacation and that's, that's what they look for every year. So you go, let's say you go on vacation for seven days, right? Now, what if life was just that continual vacation? What if life was that continual vacation? Would it not become a chore, a job? Would it not get monotonous if all you were doing is being on vacation all the time? It would get old, and it would get old fast. get old and it would get old fast. If you want to get rid of your depression or something, set some goals and set some long-term goals, but set some short-term goals that, that move towards that long-term goal. And see what happens. See what happens. Anyway, back to the uh, simulation and the NPCs. If you pay attention to your inner man a lot enough, pay attention to your thoughts, you'll start to see that the script that's playing out in the NPCs around you, the ones who 
line up with your your internal script or your internal internal goals, internal dreams, goals, desires, whatever it is. Those NPCs, the the wave function collapses, and either they those NPCs disappear that don't line up, or they change, and it collapses to to what you need. Or new ones come in, the, come on the scene. Once you change your internal dialogue, your internal script, then the outside script has to change. And you'll see these players moving in and out of the the script that you've written or the the desire. And God can use these NPCs to correct you, direct you, admonish, all that stuff, exhort, rebuke, admonish. And so everything that's happening in your world is based on the internal desire script that's appearing on the outside. And so the NPCs are just the wave function being collapsed and appearing in your story depending on what you need or you need to go or what you need to do. God has a plan for your life, don't get me wrong. But as you approach that more and more, then the NPCs have to, the f- wave function has to collapse to where you meet up with these types of individuals to move you towards where you need to go. In other words, what I'm saying is, let's say you need, let's say you need a job. You say, okay, I need a job. Some NPC is going to appear in your storyline that offers you a job. You might have to knock on a few doors or make a few phone calls or go on Indeed or whatever. But somebody's going to appear to give you a job. And if you think about jobs, they make money off of you, off your labor. So if you're willing to work, you can get a job because they make money off of you. That's why you're a human resource, you know. That's why they're headhunters. Because they make money off of you. Right now there's a train going in the background. You know, that's loud. There's some motorcycles in the background. There's a lot of traffic. If you pay attention to the holographic reality, you'll start to see what I'm talking about. As the world turns, as the script turns, 